my car for today, Pontiac Solstice. Oh, this is a beautiful car. Black on black, convertible top. It's got the black leather seats, the 2.0 liter turbo. This is just an amazing piece of machinery. I definitely don't get to do too many of these, so I was really excited for the opportunity to work on this project. The audio system in this vehicle sounds pretty good. It already has a GPS navigation head unit, but what it could use is a backup camera. And that's what we're gonna be installing today. <laughs> Looks like there's plenty of space between the license plate light and the rear bumper cover. So I'll just fish the camera wires through into the inside of the suicide trunk lid. I used a couple of aluminum screws for serviceability and adjustment purposes, but they'll be completely covered by the license plate once it's reinstalled. And with the plate installed, you can barely even see that that camera is even there. Since the armrest is disassembled, it'll make routing the wires much easier. I just have to get the wire from here in the trunk space route it through the trunk and then back into the interior. No problem there and the panel behind the seat is pretty flexible. I'm just going to follow the factory wiring that leads to the tail lights down and through the bottom of the carpeting. The red wire attached to the camera is a reverse trigger wire. I have to route it to this reverse light here in the bumper and then connect it to the stereo to switch the video display from the primary to the camera's video feed. Here, since all the wires are inside of the vehicle, I tuck them neatly behind where the stereo will be reinstalled. Since there is already a next DVD navigation equipped stereo, there's already a harness adapter and an interface to control the door chime. All I need to do is tie into the video feed and that red wire connects here to this purple wire for the reverse trigger. With the wiring cleaned up and everything tucked neatly, it's time to go ahead and reinstall the double den stereo. Let me be honest with you, removing that dash was not the most difficult part. The most difficult part was all of these harnesses that were attached to the back of it. There's various plugs and clips of many different styles and it was definitely hard to get back off. But here's a quick recap of how everything works. Transmission is placed into reverse, a signal is sent to turn the reverse light on. The camera that's mounted to the bumper is aligned to see what's behind the vehicle. Its video feed is combined with the reverse trigger wire in order to communicate to the deck that it's time to show the video feed. The gear shift selector has a small C-clip right here that you have to be very careful when you remove so that you don't lose it. But it's really what's allowing the transmission to be shifted from park to reverse. Since it's a C-clip, the pin just slides right back into place. And then there's a 3 16 Allen head that you have to tighten down. And why stop there? Since we've already got the vehicle apart, let's go ahead and add some heated seats as well. The Solstice seats have the plastic interlock clip that's typical of most vehicles. You just have to separate it and then you gain access to the inner seat foam. Not bad at all. And since this pad has pretty nice coverage, I'm just gonna go ahead and slide it under there. And here you can see the wire poking out. I tuck that wire out the back of the seat and it's ready to connect to the bottom. Oh, 
push that through the back. And we'll make it meet up with this one right here. Same thing with the back one. Just gonna pop these clips off right here. Tuck it in. Thanks for joining me on this journey. Stick around and I'll show you my Windows PC enabled car stereo, available exclusively from Wrath Customs. It's got wireless phone screen mirroring, GPS capabilities, animated backgrounds, it's really got the works. I want to thank everyone for all the support I've gotten. Stay loud and keep building. We're in this thing together.